what's up? I'm Liz, this puts a DIY, and today I'm going to be talking about a big print that I actually started back in January and just finished up all the parts for. As you can probably tell for those of a keen eye, uh, this is a BB-8 model. It's a BB-8 model by W. Caracre. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I will link the model down below. And uh, this is one of the first big models I printed outside of like uh, the OK synth, which was my first big print um, and that had multiple parts and everything. And I just love how the design of this and how it looks and uh, even the assembly design, which is what this video is going to kind of focus on. Um, it's just a really cool print if you want to try out doing multiple parts that are going to have to fit together. When I started printing this, it was like early January, hadn't even had my Prusa for a month at that point, so settings could have definitely probably been dialed in a little bit better, but I am overall pretty happy with how everything came out. I am going to have to glue some things because tolerances were a bit loose, and again, that's just things weren't dialed in 100%, but I, am, I was, even at the time, super impressed on how the Prusa handled these curved parts here. Like, they just came out so smooth. There's been no post-processing on any of these, and I'm just really impressed with these. Uh, and what's really cool about this BB-8 model is for the more adventurous, which maybe at one point I will do this, uh, it's hollow so that if you want to put electronics inside, you totally can. So basically the rough idea is you have these two halves, and as you can see, there are these raised bits all along the orb, what will be BB-8's body. And there are also these domes here that uh, have become pretty iconic for BB-8. And the way that the model is designed is so that you can take these orange kind of rings here and they fit nice and tight into these cutouts. And that will actually secure the orb together. And then you take these and that fits in as well. So that's how the body's gonna go, and that's what all these dome pieces are. And then for the head, you have, of course, the head. Um, the, the head I'm gonna have to glue, I think, all the parts on just because it's a little bit loose, but you've got the the eyes there, the or whatever. Uh, I don't know, does BB-8 have eyes? Are these eyes sensors? Um, and then you have this ring that snaps on this ring that snaps on the top, and then the way that the details come into the head is really clever, it's this ring piece here. So this snaps into here, and then this silver piece goes into here. So it makes it look like it's kind of part of the head, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and then there's this white piece here, the flat side goes against the head, and then you have this curved piece, and that's so that you can mount it on top of the body. Ooh. <laughs> Like so. Now this time, the like I said, definitely got the glue this because there is a hole here at the bottom, but it doesn't really say like how, why it is. Uh, I guess you could drill into the body and attach the head that way, and then you could still spin it. Will I do that? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. But that's definitely something you could do. Uh, and there is also a stand that you can print um, on Thingiverse, which I'll also be printing and displaying it. So yeah, now we're gonna assemble this, see what goes. Okay, so for the gluing, I'm using E6000 glue. That's my favorite kind of all-purpose heavy duty glue, and I, I like it for a, a few reasons. One, it comes in a huge tube, so you're probably not gonna run out for one project. In fact, depending on how much you use it, it might take you even up to a year. Uh, it is very strong, but as it dries, it first becomes kind of rubbery. So it's not like an instant bond. And personally for me, I like having that little bit of play. So if you put a piece down slightly off at first, it's gonna be fine. Uh, it's also pretty affordable too, and you can get it basically anywhere. Uh, so the way I'm applying, as you can see, I'm using a toothpick to kind of squirt out a little bit of a drop onto the toothpick and then kind of spreading it out flat on the surface. Because the only thing about the E6000 glue, the tube can kind of come gushing out a bit. So I don't like to apply it directly from the tube to the surface that I'm gluing. And I, have, I just have a paper towel up to the side where I have the, the bottle and I'm just squeezing it onto the toothpick. And the toothpick's nice because then you get into those small areas and you can spread it out really nicely. Uh, and then you can just throw the toothpick away. But I'm just spreading on to the white discs there and then putting the silver bits in. I like that because I'm kind of pushing the pieces into the glue rather than trying to get the silver piece to stick to the white. Um, and I've found in other kind of projects it just works out a little bit better. 
And then for BB-8, I'm just putting a little bit into kind of the crevice where that orange part's gonna, gonna go because it was just a little bit loose. So I'm just putting a thin layer around there. So we'll just have that extra bit of reinforcement. I'm not gonna have to glue in that kind of detail piece, the orange there, but then I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue into, I guess you'd call it kind of the track of that silver piece so that um, it'll make contact with the orange part that sticks out and that'll get a nice strong bond. And then of course, we're gonna be gluing on the, um, the eyes or sensors, however you wanna call them for BB-8. All right, so the head's all glued up. Um, and when I last recorded this, uh, a couple days have passed, um, I wasn't sure how to really attach the head to the body. Uh, I've since printed a stand for this uh, that we'll take a look at at the end when it's all set. And I saw on one of the makes for the stand that someone actually uh, used magnets to attach the head. And that makes perfect sense. It's a perfect size for a magnet. So what I've done is I actually took a measurement of the um, depth of the head using a toothpick and I just marked it. And then I got a bunch of these little magnets. And if you have small children or pets, definitely keep them in a safe spot. You don't want them eating these. I just measured how many would fit in. I actually fit out perfectly be nine of these magnets. So I took nine of them. Uh, put a little bit of E6000 glue on the end and put them in here. So I'm just kind of waiting for that to finish setting up. And then after that, I'm going to put, um, I think like two or three of these in a stack inside the body. So then BB-8's head will be able to kind of move around the way that does in the movie. All right. All right, the BB-8 is finally all glued up and complete. As you can see, I think it came out pretty nice. Keeping in mind, this is one of the first things I really printed that was like a big print. There's definitely some uh, settings I probably would have uh, changed now that I know more, but I purposely like didn't do any real finishing to anything or reprint anything, even though a few months have passed, just because I kind of also want it as like a memento of like, one of the first things I really printed. Uh, as you can see, like once it's all assembled, it makes basically a perfect spear, uh, which I think is really awesome. Uh, and I think definitely if you do print this BB-8, the stand, which I will link down in the description, is a necessity uh, because otherwise this will happen. Uh, one thing I do want to mention um, again is I'm holding the head on with a magnet. I've got magnets in here and then there are two magnets inside here and they're strong enough so that if the head does pop off, whether it be by gravity or cat or small child or clumsiness, uh, you can stick on here, have the magnet come down and it will find itself back on. Now the magnets aren't strong enough so that it will like stay if you like hold it upside down. Let me see. Oh, I it will stay upside down for like a second. Um, but it is strong enough so that like you can kind of move his head around similar to when he's rolling around in the movies, which I was really glad when um, I saw in a comment that someone had used magnets to attach it. And I definitely endorse the use of magnets uh, if you do print this. So there, and then, uh, got my pop bobblehead BB-8 for scale. Uh, it, you could definitely like scale this up, I think. And also uh, people have put electronics in. Uh, so it definitely has a lot of potential. Just a really awesome model, in my opinion. I love when people design models like this, especially of like classic characters from movies and stuff. Uh, where you can print the individual parts and then assemble it together so that you don't necessarily have to paint if you don't want to. You don't necessarily have to do any like major finishing either. You can just kind of put it together almost like a model kit and have a ready to go um, character. And uh, E6000 glue always works well for me. There's lots of other options out there. You may prefer super glue or such like that, but I, I just really like E6000 glue and just using a toothpick or some other spreading mechanism to just uh, get it on a nice thin layer. And then after letting it set for a couple hours, 
voila, you have a, a fully assembled model. So really happy with how this model turned out. Uh, I will link it down in the description if you are also interested in printing it. The detail, um, even on like these little dome panels and stuff, is just really awesome. And I think the way that the head was designed too, so that this piece snaps in to give the different orange segments is just I think it's just a great tribute to BB-8, who has definitely become one of my favorite characters in the new Star Wars films, uh, who doesn't love a happy-go-lucky roly-poly droid. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, toss me a thumbs up, leave a question or comments down below. As I said, I'm gonna put all of the appropriate links in the description uh, in case you do want to print this model. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.